Should we flip a coin? <laughs> wow, good morning, uh, everyone, or good afternoon. <clears throat> it truly is an honor to be part of this historic event in welcoming the Parliament of the World's Religions to Toronto in the fall of 2018. Uh, it is really a grand uh, announcement. Uh, as many of you know, I myself uh, come from the ecumenical and interfaith uh, worlds. It is where I learned and where I was formed by notions and values of the common good and the drive of people of faith to integrate the ethics of compassion and social justice with the task of uh, building a better world. And even though I'm a politician, I continue to believe that there is such a thing as the common good and, or the common wealth and that it is knowable and doable and if we build bridges between us, we can, we can get there. The Parliament of World's Religions is a wonderful event for Toronto, reinforcing our brand as a re religiously diverse city. I do believe that Toronto has an important story to tell about how religious communities can work together and live together in a spirit not only of tolerance, which is a minimal standard, but a high level of cooperation in the city building. Toronto's story of faith-filled city building is a grand one, even as perhaps it has been a little bit of a light underneath a bushel. Think of all the childcare centers in churches, synagogues, mosques, gurdwaras, temples, Think of the youth in senior programs, the outreach to the, to the vulnerable, the out of the cold programs. One can scarcely imagine the phrase Toronto the good without the contribution that faith communities have made. And it is not only faith communities acting in their own silos, it is across denominations and religious divides. Jews and Muslims this last year taking in Syrian families, faith in the city advocates, working on not letting a casino in our city and supporting very strongly a city's poverty reduction strategy. Think of the interfaith group Greening Sacred Spaces, which seeks to integrate ecological values in our sacred spaces, spaces of worship and assembly. Think of ISARC, the Interfaith Social Assistance Review Committee, that has been doing great work over a generation advocating on a provincial level on poverty issues. Think of Kairos, Canada, working ecumenically, nationally and internationally among the Christian churches on a host of social justice issues. Think of the multi-faith alliance to end homelessness, pushing all orders of government in, good, in a good direction. Your work, many of you uh, here in this room, has been faith-filled action at its very best, while also being city building work at its very best. My urging over the years, frankly, has been on the city side is that we just need more of it. And this is why, we, why a very strong and vibrant parliament of the world's religions coming here next year is so worthy of support. My hope is that among the many outcomes, one of them can be some kind of office on faith communities and city building that will augment and support the good work that is already being done on the ground in the city. The Parliament of World's Religions is a wonderful opportunity to, for Torontonians to tell our story, to show that it can be done, and to inspire and be inspired by the multitude of similar efforts that are happening around the world. The Parliament will, and its legacy, will be something that we can all be proud of for many years afterwards. Thank you very much.